a Chicagoland hiring personnel, plus did NASCAR make changes to the new Fontana short track layout. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. So every few months, Chicagoland Speedway through the NASCAR Jobs Twitter account comes back into the news because a job will be posted, whether that be security, general maintenance, general nurse, something along those lines. And the NASCAR Jobs Twitter account just auto posts those every time they come up or every time it's been 30 plus days since how, how long all these jobs have been open for. And every single time people on the internet are like, oh my God, does that mean that NASCAR is returning to Chicagoland? Except no, it doesn't. They're just hiring people the same way that Spirit Halloween is hiring people every time they pop up in an old borders or whatever else because they just need general people to work for you know set events that are coming up and that's exactly what chicago land is doing here they need security people they need uh nurses they need a general maintenance guy but that does not mean nascar is returning they need a security guy there to work the small events that they still have at the racetrack that aren't nascar the same way that it's like a security guard in the dying mall in your town who is just in there to watch the olds as they power walk and kind of keep an eye on what's happening with the three stores that are remaining you know, the arcade, the random guy that's doing shoe reselling. It's probably like the area code plus heat after it as the name. And then there's like a Claire's because they always seem to survive everything like a cockroach in a nuclear war. You can't put them out of business. That's essentially what's happening here. Chicago is not getting a NASCAR race back, at least not for 2025. But they do have smaller events at the racetrack, whether that be a driving experience. They had the Super Motocross uh, playoffs last year. They do car meets. They do other smaller things at the venue. That's what they need these people for. It's not because they're bringing NASCAR back. It's because that they do continue to do some things at this racetrack. Much like Kentucky Speedway does a lot of driving experience stuff down there, they still need to have a general maintenance guy, general laborer, security people on staff just to kind of make sure that everything stays status quo doesn't mean that they're bringing anything back. So I know a lot of people get excited about it. I know a lot of people want Chicagoland to return, but as it stands right now, Chicago land's just not coming back, at least not for 2025. And as long as NASCAR and the city of Chicago continue to have an agreement on the Chicago street race through Grant Park, Chicago land's just not coming back because that race is doing more for the sport right now than Chicago land does. It gets 4 million viewers on NBC. Chicago land wasn't doing that. And it's attracting a new different base that NASCAR is trying to connect with. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Yes, we all love Chicago. And yes, the Gen 7 car would absolutely slap, as the kids say, at that mile and a half, especially with how much it's weathered now. But you have to look at a bigger picture here, and the Chicago street race does more for NASCAR in the broader landscape than what Chicagoland does. So it's unfortunate, but they have to pick and choose. It's not even a Sophie's choice at this point. You have to go to the Chicago street course, and that's just the direction that NASCAR has to go right now. So yes, they're going to continue to hire people. Yes, those jobs are going to continue to be up for 30 plus days when you look at the NASCAR jobs website, and that's just not going to change. And they're not getting a race for 2025 as much as people were excited about it. Moving on to Fontana in the proposed short track at what was once the Auto Club Speedway, the two mile D shaped oval in Fontana, California. So as everybody knows, back in 2020, documents leaked thanks to The Athletic that NASCAR had planned through ISC, their track holdings company, planned to convert the two mile D shaped oval in Fontana down to a half mile short track, just basically utilizing the front stretch and pit lane at the existing Fontana Auto Club Speedway, whatever you want to refer to it as California Speedway, even if we want to go back to 2005. But that was their plan and then they're going to sell off the rest of the property and build up well sell it off to cbre who was going to build up a bunch of warehouses on the property and then you have this racetrack kind of in the middle of it and it would be a weird setup and since then nascar's continued to push the timeline of that reconfiguration back there still has not been an rfp for it nobody's submitted bids nascar hasn't gotten approval on anything and the project continues to kind of just sit in purgatory like the end of lost and i don't know if it's ever going to actually progress on to you know becoming a half mile short track. I think NASCAR would love it because I think that'd be a great spot for them to end their season at for the championship finale. But as it stands right now, nothing's really happened. And we've all seen the layout of it, right? You can see it right here. And there's, you know, the half mile track utilizing the front stretch like we talked about. They're going to put a grandstand down in what will now be like the tight turn one um, and kind of around the corner. And then you can see where the rest of the uh, warehouses will be built up around it. Well, this past week, somebody posted on Twitter and saying that, oh, I think that they've changed the layout of Auto Club Speedway Fontana to, you know, be something different. And the description said it's like New Hampshire with high banks, except it's not. It's basically what they've always said it was going to be, which is essentially like a hybrid between Bristol and Martinsville. It's going to be a high banked, um, you know, oval with a tighter radius in the corner than what Bristol has. So think Martinsville just with 
banking. So that's kind of what it is. And that's basically what it shows right here. And it got people excited, except this has got to be pretty old at this point. There's no date on it, but it does appear that it is from back in 2020, 2021 as well, because Auto Club Speedway branding is still on it. And this is not Auto Club Speedway anymore. NASCAR has specifically just referred to it as Fontana or Next Gen California. They've dropped the sponsorship from Auto Club because, well, Auto Club is like, we're not getting any money out of this other than me continuing to say it over and over for them. But it's nothing new that we haven't already seen. So I saw some people get excited about it. I think a lot of people um, saw what it was. And no, this isn't a slight at the person that posted it. I just think it's worth talking about the fact that the project hasn't changed. And this, you know, mock up and layout is definitely from a couple years ago as well, which was likely just used as a handout to uh, CBRE as they you know look to promote the warehouses that they were building on the property that they had bought away from NASCAR and ISC. And that's essentially what this looks like uh, to me. Nothing about this has changed. It's still very much the same layout. The only thing that's different is, well, it's not, well, nothing's different because we still haven't moved on with the project yet. We'll have to wait and see if NASCAR is actually going to do anything with the facility there, or if they're just going to sell off the rest of the property and let that be turned into warehouses as well. The longer this project continues to drag on, the less hopeful I am. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that Ben Kennedy and his vision for the NASCAR schedule and venues for NASCAR to race at is top notch, way better than anything we've seen in the past heck 30 years. Even uh, I think what his vision is for the schedule is, you know, top notch. Can't can't say anything bad about it. So I assume that they're holding on to this until maybe it makes market sense to spend the money to make that happen and turn that into a short track if it is deemed viable as a property to have. Granted, I mean. Think about it. It's not exactly close to Los Angeles. Yes, it's Los Angeles adjacent. It's closer to Los Angeles than Denver is, but it's not exactly right there in the center of things like racing at the LA Coliseum or even having a street race at like Dodger Stadium and Chavez Ravine. So for NASCAR to put the money in to build this Fontana race into something or the track into a short track, that's going to have to be, it's going to have to make business sense. The forecast model is going to absolutely have to work out and it's going to have to be a top notch facility because well, nobody's built a new short track, at least a top tier short track uh, like this in the country. And years. You can argue that Iowa is probably the last recent one, and that's still been 20 years as well. So for them to do this, it has to make sense. I'm just not sure if it does at the moment. But the layout hasn't changed. It's going to continue to be a half mile high banked oval. Um, obviously, the layout that they maybe had wanted to use by incorporating that front stretch with the curve that's still in it. Uh, iRacing and NASCAR both said that the cars didn't really react well to the layout that they had designed. So I assume there might have to be some changes kind of with that uh, going forward. But for the most part, the plan is still to use all the existing infrastructure. Just not sure if it'll ever happen. So let me know in the comments what you think about Chicagoland. Let me know what you think about Fontana, if you ever think it's going to happen. We continue to need more horsepower, but until then, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.